Greetings everyone at home. This is our open studio here on Cape Town Television. Well, as you know that each and every day we are on your screens 5 p.m. until uh, 5.30 p.m. And today we're having a very different show, a little bit different because we're having a very vibey brand, um, brand director. But for Ndo Nimdase, I'm going to be Tani, he's here in studio with us. He will be telling you more of what I am telling you now. Because Mna and Dinalo Kwa Lwa Zimdase Kaya, in 20 years ago, Uba, Ula Pa Kunye Nam, Elam Igama Ndigu Atule, Ifane Ndigu Mazula. Very good afternoon to you. Greetings, thank you so much for joining us and welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for having me. So great to be in Cape Town and so great to be here with you. Wow, thank you so much, dear. You firstly, be tell us about yourself, dear. We just want to know you. We cannot talk with 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 you. Zulu guy from Etekwini. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, we ma. So that's what it is. And yeah, very, very excited to have been serving as marketing manager at Castle Lager and recently promoted to brand director at SAV Corporate Brands. Speaking of that, what is Castle Lager? Castle Lager is Mzansi's national beer. You definitely yes. know it. Yes. You grew up with it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Inaba. So, Inaba. <laughs> so absolutely amazing, 100% homegrown, um, fully South African. In fact, it has the proudly South African certification wow. on the packaging because everything about Castle is from South Africa. It, it, tell us about the Castle Lager. Uh, what, what is the name behind? Is there a motive behind the name? Well, Castle Lager, the Lion Series specifically, mm -hmm. or the beer itself? The beer itself. I have no idea. It's been mm -hmm. here for 126 years. 126 years. It actually was first brewed here in Cape Town by Charles Glass and his wife Lisa. So... <laughs> Brand director, please tell us about your role, what it entails. Well, right now, um, brand director of SAB Corporate, so looking after the SAB Corporate brand. Um, but for the past sort of 18 months, I've been working as marketing lead on Castle Lager, where we've been doing some amazing work, um, particularly in our sponsorship platforms, Proteus, Springboks, and Bafana Bafana. Of course, here, I'm very, very excited about what's happening this weekend on the Castle Lion series, where we are the official series title partner. And that's been some amazing, amazing work. We didn't expect it, but we got it and we ran with it. And it's been challenging in this kind of a pandemic, but really, really excited to be here for the final. We'll be getting there on those challenges. But yeah, when I went out, I swung and she, I'll be like, when I was tattoo or 20, I'm going to talk about Salapa man when, when we end the Lelenba, my big Wolf Because you know your story, because you know what to tell people, Jonga. Tell us what is different. Why is it, what is different from other, other, other beers? Well, from the way it tastes, firstly, it's very different. Um, mm -hmm. The composition of ingredients, like I said, are 100% homegrown. Mm -hmm. um, everything about Castle is from South Africa. It's for us, it's by us, it's made yes. of the best of us. Um, it is proudly South African, like I said, that certification. From a taste profile, what differentiates it is the, the sort of somewhat dry, somewhat bitter, never sweet mm -hmm. flavor profile wow. in it. And one of the cool and the interesting things, mm -hmm. in fact, two I'll tell you. The first one is that Castle Lager is engineered to taste the same way from the first sip to the last sip. Um, and also it is the brewer's choice. You know, brewers can make all kinds of beers all day, but the one that they'll have at the pub at the end of the day is Castle Lager. So an amazing, amazing liquid as well. Tell us about the jersey that you have created. You I just tell us more. Right yes, I'm just talking about the jersey, but my worry is that I don't see you having one for me, but anyway, it's fine. <laughs> you should work at Castle But Lager. it's fine. So, <laughs> no, this is an amazing jersey. This is part of our Castle Lion series campaign, which is, um, this global sale is in our blood. And what we had done is we looked at South Africans when it comes to sports. And of course, Castle being the proud sponsor of the South African spirit mm -hmm. and our major, uh, you know, national teams for the longest time, we had this amazing incident where although we are a very diverse and dynamic country. And there's so many things that can divide us. Mm -hmm. And we're coming out of a season where we've had to be apart because yes. of the pandemic. Sports seasons come together for these unique moments of unity. And so that true. is uniquely South African and that is in our blood. So what we sought to do is we sought to say, well, let's take this passion for sport that is in our blood and let's make it make a difference. And so we partnered with the South African National Blood Service so that the passion in our blood 
would also begin to save lives. Why? Two reasons. Uh, number one, we were at a less than two-day supply of blood in mm. the country. And number two, True. they had lost 20% of their blood donor base through the pandemic. So we were very happy to lend our voice and our sphere of influence to a really worthy cause during National Blood Donor Month in June. Speaking of uh, the campaign in our blood and how it has been working with our national blood service. Huh. It's been absolutely amazing. Working with them has been absolutely amazing, so humbling. And um, what we were able to do with that partnership is, as you can see, this <laughs> is not the traditional red of yes. Castle Lager. Um, this color, this red that you see here, is actually the color of the average donations of blood in South Africa. This is what South African blood looks like. And so okay. we changed our iconic castle red to the color of South African's blood. Come and on. And we created this limited edition jersey, old school rugby vibes. Um, hashtag and our blood on the sleeve, South African flag over there. Obviously what we're representing, green is our national color. Gold is what we're definitely going to be getting this weekend. And so it's really imbued with meaning. And this becomes a tangible expression of that unity that we can have in sports. You so remember? this jersey yeah. was not just created. It had a motive. There was... Not with really. <laughs> like there's, there's a, a reason why this cheese was created. How many cheeses do you have? A whole lot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, if one. We have a whole lot. And so we're really encouraging. Are they on sale? They're not on sale, and that's really encouraging and exciting. You can only get them uh, when you go to our website, www.castellaga.co.za. Come on, guys. There are well people who are struggling to. <laughs> Tell me of some guru. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, dear. So these jerseys that you've created, you get it online even though you get it free. Well, no. You, you can sign up for it on our website. You still have a chance to win um, one of many that we have. We do have a lot. And also we're encouraging people to engage with us on social media at Castle Lager SA, and you can check us out there. There are lots of competitions, lots of amazing prizes that we're giving away mm -hmm. um, as part of this um, Castle Lime series. Let's talk, okay, after the break, we'll be just getting into uh, the challenges that you have faced as uh, Castle Lager and the SAB during this pandemic, but now we're just taking a very short break. Thank you, dear. Well, Gu and Mugele Kaya, we're just taking a very short break. After the break, we will be back. You may don't go anywhere and say I'm tested because Lena and I am planning. It's just something else. Welcome back and thank you so much for joining us. And if you have just joined us here in studio, I am having uh, the brand director cooperated Castle Lager Lion Series. Ikamala kengu spe uspege ulapukzo uskale la ngendo yonge tibene Castle Lager. You know, as news in dosi as us, as cool as this eve, ndo kukubana ngaba this Castle Lager, kukumba, I will talk about but I can't be tamed. But as banga, as bana se kola wonge ubani, se tibana nezi ndo nezi ndo, you tend to understand, to get to understand, like, you don't need to take and that is why it's pay is here. Dear, thank you so much for being with us, and just in case, we love us on Kesson Rabbi, and I can see that you're okay. I'm loving it. As Castle Laga, tell us this pandemic, the COVID-19, and this is business. We cannot turn a blind eye on that. Um, there are ch the pandemic came with the challenges that you including the hard lockdown, including the ban of alcohol sale. Tell us about the challenges that um, you came across as a castle lager during the lockdown, especially the hard lockdown that prohibited um, the sale of alcohol. Well, keep in mind, it's not just one. It's mm. been four Come, alcohol bans you, you know, that we've had to deal with, and that's equivalent to 165 days that we could not trade. And so that's been very, very, very difficult when you consider that SAB employs yes. 7,000 people, that translates to about 215,000 in our beer value chain, mm. and that equals about over a million livelihoods that are impacted every time mm. we can't trade. And so um, as a corporate that has always been for responsible enjoyment of our products, that's mm. been really, really 
um, disappointing, it's been devastating, obviously, especially to our value chain. Think of the restaurants, mm -hmm. think of the many other kinds of establishments, the tavern owners um, around the country who can't trade at that time, a lot of them who um, really rely on our products and you live know. from till to mouth you in know. terms of providing for their families. It's been very, very difficult when you consider that 165 day period. So for Castle, it's been very tough. Um, as the national beer, but you know it is part of our philosophy to always have a glass half full. We're unapologetically mm. passionate about this country mm. and um, the investments that we've made into it. And so um, it's been really great to engage with our fans online. Mm. It's been really great online. Wow. We've got an amazing social media community that's very, very engaged yes. and is passionate about our brand and talks to us. And so even in the absence of being able to trade, we've to been trade. really enjoying being able to give them great prizes and to continue our conversation going throughout this time. You know, Spare, um, it, it's been now almost two years with, with, with living with the pandemic. But each and every time you hear a story, um, a challenge that, that was brought by the hard lockdown, it's, it's very painful because there's a question of how is Castle Laga uh, planning to, 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 to survive or planning to recover from this hardship? Well, it's, it's been particularly challenging when you look at our sponsorship platform, mm. you know, sponsoring with Fana Fana Proteas and the Springboks. Oh, wow. We had a year where there was no sport. <laughs> you sport know. Sport completely gone. It's now beginning to come back. Yes. Um, and it's, it's been difficult. But you know what? The recovery is really up to our the lovers of Castle. Yes. It's up to our Castle fam to, to bring us back and to um, really, you know, enjoy our products and really engage in us with our merchandise and engage with us online. Um, we're really excited to see the growth that is coming now that we can trade. People really are coming out in numbers to support us. Um, it is still weird though to have a Castle Lions series once in 12 year event with our fans in the mm. stadium, um, considering you know things like the T20 World Cup for cricket. You know, all of these things, these moments around our beer that you usually have in a stadium, you can't really have. Yes. So, we're just encouraging people to have these amazing moments of unity around our beer safely and responsibly at home at this time. Let's, let's quickly go back with the workflow, how it has been uh, with the employees at uh, uh, Castle Laga, this, this, this pandemic, how, how are they affected or how they have been affected? The brand team doesn't stop. Wow. <laughs> the brand team doesn't stop, the work never wow. stops. The work um, needs continue work despite the, the yeah. darkness. It's a continuer in all of it. Um, wow. and, and I think that's part of the amazing resilience that we've seen at SAB at large and definitely at Castle Lager dealing with the kind of year that we've had to deal with. Yes. Recently there were, there were incidents, as we are on that note, recently there were incidents of looting, there were incidents of violence. How maybe uh, the Castle Lager has been affected? Um, we were negatively affected by our depots in Peter Maritzburg and other parts of St. Again that were looted. Um, we, we, we've seen a lot of destruction. There was also a threat on our respecting mm. plant where um, we, we thank the South African National Police Service and the yes, National and Defense Force for yes, standing and the law enforcement. Those but we are on the long um, road of recovery. We've had to write off a lot of stock. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot of that was looted. We're very, very concerned. Our primary concern is our people, our truck drivers, our employees, and all those places. Um, and it's been great to report that they're safe. And um, to our knowledge at this point, no one has really been harmed on our workforce. But it's just about that resilience. Um, one of the exciting things that we've been able to begin to roll out this week Whoa. is the vaccination program Whoa. at SAB. And so we've had three sites. Um, where we've been vaccinating our workforce and those feel comfortable to do so, so that we can really begin the road back of economic yes. recovery. Um, we see the vaccination as a driver of economic recovery, and we say, Kinako, we must recover, we must reset, and we must rebuild this economy. We do it again. And the only thing that, um, that, that, that Gives th that is surprising or very nice about redoing it is that when you do it again, you're doing it again, you're having the experience now. You know that um, this, even Kabili Kala. So I am not going to this side again because Ben So that's the, that's the nice thing about redoing it. What message can you give to the people who, who did the lootings, the people who did the violence, especially in, in, in KZN and in Gauteng? Like, they destroyed what, what is also helpful to them. 
I think for me, the major message is to think of the jobs yes. and to think of the millions of livelihoods on the line yes. when you act irresponsibly. And to really be serious about building this nation. And building this nation will not come through destruction. It will come through unity. It will come through collaboration. It will come through a common vision. Yes. And it will definitely come as we embrace the uniquely South African spirit of resilient optimism. We have been through a lot. And we have overcome a lot. And I believe we will do so again. And we'll definitely do. We will definitely do. Well, Kuwe Mugulakaya, I am having Ubudis Piwa, Ubudis Pelele, Tal Pelel, Tungus Pelele, Tal Pelel. Yes. Ubudike Ulabugus Kazalango, Castle Laga, Yonke, Indabaga, Castle Laga, Lions, and Shma are contributing. We here having a conversation about Nezin Presence Gayo around. Well, Kuwe Mugulakaya, see a breaking as Muya, some ways to work in a conversation yet. Welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for sitting with us. Thank you so much for uba nje utate klasha lako uti ubekande uhlala nati wal sisi ndu so kubela ke esi kuwe mbukele kaya. Wena mtuke mshambu sandu liko sijoina. Akondi bite ni wetu mdase there is a lot and ukhalela ez ukubukela ez nye episodes there is open studio go YouTube. Akondi bite ni mdase uz nige nje usi chonge uve indo kukubana ngaba miyale zomni ese solo kose unikeza auze kumbu ula ke lena inkubo hileti beganti izama indo kukubana ngu beganti waka umdu onguwe onono no petele ube ganti utinga ngenle la ea shukleyo a positive as I'm encouraged to get a negative standard sum. Well, in studio today, I am having a good pay. He is a brand a director, a Castle Laga Lion series. Why are we talking something today? Dear, thank you so much, man, for your time, and I hope you're still good. I'm loving it on the show, loving your expertise. Thank you so much, dear. Tell us about he is interesting as Lindale from Castle Laga Lion series. Well, we're very, Especially very from these hardships, dear. We're very, very excited to actually firstly be able to trade. That's the first thing. Um, of course, and, you know. And so one of the first things that people can look forward to, you saw the story that I told you about yes. this jersey. We are now going it's to have it in our 500 mil can. So we've got a limited edition can with this unique red, the color of South African blood, which is in trade right now in stores all over the country. We're wanting everyone to go and get it to commemorate wow. the Castle Lion series. We're really, really excited to be the series title partner of the Castle Lion series. It is almost as old as Castle itself, um, coming from the 1800s. And of course, England, Ireland, Scotland and, and Wales come together as a super team called the British and Irish Lions. And they come and compete against either us, Australia, or New Zealand every four years. So for us, it's once in 12 years. And so we're very, very excited to be the title series partner for this amazing and prestigious international tournament. And we're very, very excited as well to be the beer that backs the box and getting behind our guys as they definitely go and defeat the British and Irish Lions, keeping that trophy in this country for at Come least on. the second time in a row. I've decided to make a prediction and I'm standing by it. You know what, when? Uzenshe, <laughs> Udikonba. There's passion, there's, there's love inside you. I mean, it, it just tell me please a bit, but all the time now I look for this brand directing and for Castle Laga, where is it from? Is there maybe a, an inspiration behind? Because that there's something that drives you. I think I've always been this person. Um, one of my first things that happened in my childhood is my teacher in grade one yes. um, wrote my first report card, said, Spear is amazing, he participates, but he talks too much. Okay. Um, and I was afraid, and when I got home, my mom said, this is well done. She didn't discourage me, and she encouraged me to be me. And so I can only be me. And I think it's important to have a, a passion and a conviction for what you do. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. It's not a joke, it's real life. 
You know, it doesn't take much to put this on. And also when you've got a brand that you can believe in in terms of its purpose, its value of bringing people together. Yes. Um, really, really, really exciting for that. Another thing we're going to be doing at Castle Lager is together with Take A Lot, we're going to be the key sponsors for the Ultimate Bry Master, encouraging friends all around the country to gather around their brides um, as we get into our warmer months in this mm. year. Um, also enjoy the Castle Lager Championships, enjoy our other three sporting codes as they compete. Um, Bafana Bafana obviously needs to qualify for the World Cup next year. Definitely. We've got the T20 World Cup in cricket. So there's a lot that's happening that Castle is going to be driving. And we want people to have amazing moments backing our national teams around our beer. This is so amazing. The info that you're giving me now is just something else. The NNJ into. Tell us, where do you see Castle Laga in five years now to just five years to 10 years? In Donetsk, I think you're going to see Castle evolve like everything else does. Um, I think Castle is, is, is really a, a brand that's around bringing people together. And I think you're going to see more from Castle speaking into the friendship space um, and, and being something that where, where, where people gather and where yes. friends gather, true authentic friends, your day ones, the ones you can count on one hand, where they gather, Castle will be there. Whether it's around a braai, whether you're watching our national sporting teams, or whether you're enjoying our new um, mm -hmm. Castle Lager sort of member of the family. We have just launched Castle Double Malt, which is a new beer from the Castle family, yes. the next big thing in beer. It's beautiful. It's in stores now as well. And that combines the best of two malts um, to bring you superior refreshment um, and a really great green bottle, more premium proposition from Castle. So you've got a beautiful house of Castle. There's a Castle for every occasion. If you're wanting to hang out with your friends, Castle. you can have Castle Lager. If you're wanting to have Umkiti, if you want to have, have a traditional ceremony you want to celebrate your African culture there's castle, castle milk stout oh, um, come on. if you want to reward yourself you want to just level up gangane, you can have a castle double malt and if you want to be really responsible enjoy your beer um, without any sort of effects of alcohol there's castle free and so there's a come castle on. for every occasion and there's so a castle come on to castle occasion. and and we're really happy to have everyone in the castle family if somebody wants to get hold of you, um, just to, to, to follow you, which social platforms that can that person uh, follow you or just to read more about you? You can follow me on LinkedIn, Spev Wundler. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. That's really easy to find me. Um, you can also follow me on WhatsApp. I'm sorry, on Instagram at Sipelele, S-I-P-H-E-L-E-L-E. -E -E. um, you can follow WhatsApp me on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Not on WhatsApp, but on Instagram. <laughs> I'm what, not giving that out. What inspiration do you have um, for someone who wants to pursue the same line as you? I don't know if it's about the same line or if it's about being yourself. I okay. think my message is the identify self. your uniqueness. Oh, wow. Embrace it. Oh, wow. Celebrate it. Resource it and develop it. If you have a lane, stick to it because no one can compete with you being you. Mm. And if my journey inspires you, let it inspire you to your own journey and not mine. Mm. Is, is there someone who maybe who, who you look forward or who do you follow who inspires you like in your life? I don't think I have a person. I think I'm blessed to have a collective. Um, as a spiritual person, I definitely look to God and I've been blessed with an amazing family. I've been, I've been blessed with mm. amazing friends. I've got amazing colleagues and mentors and people who have spoken into my life. And I think I've been through enough life to learn uh, who to let in, who to listen to, who to not listen to. And that gift of discernment is something that everyone really needs to aspire to have because that can only build you and protect you and propagate your agenda and move you forward in purpose. And so that's, that's the drive for me. It's, ultimate, it's fundamentally spiritual um, from the inside out. Mm -hmm. And I seek to be an encourager and a provoker of purpose in people. I believe that's why I'm here on this planet. And that's why you are this person you are. This is a very good job that you are doing. This is a very inspiring word, especially those motivating words. But we'll have to live it there for now. I, I believe that Sapinis Bona and thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for wise words that you've given us. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you, dear. Well, this is us signing out. Jonga, make sure that you use it. This was Open Studio with Uspe Vundla. Mna, ndigu atule ifani, ndigu mazula. Until we do this next time, you have yourself a blessed one.